High Plains Technology says it's time for school. Well, there's Katie Shirley in the studio, which means it must be time for school. And, of course, we're talking about High Plains Technology Center. Good morning. Good morning, Brett. Um, today I have with me guest um, Andrew Smith. She, she is a safety support specialist at High Plains Technology Center and also is um, the business and entrepreneurial coordinator, still helping people with QuickBooks, mm-hmm. very busy with that, and helps now with our, our WIND. And um, so we've got her here today and another guest, Sarah Boyce with Boyce Electric, and they're going to talk about a um, inaugural event we have going on today that's called Life Happens. So, Andra, if you want to tell us how this all got started and about it. Well, honestly, Sarah called me at work last June, maybe, like yeah, that. May or June, and said she had seen an event on Facebook. Yes, the Yukon Schools does. Called Reality Check. Yes. And she was very excited about it. It's a way to introduce... Um, high school students into what reality holds for them and when she explained it to me and you know me I get excited about stuff Uh so I got all excited about it Um, went to Berkeley right off the bat and they had done something similar to that Um, Darla and Jennifer had Uh done something similar so I talked to them and they got excited and that's how the ball started rolling and here we are. It's going to happen. I'm going to let Sarah tell you what all's involved in it. Okay. So the concept is to teach these kids um, how to balance a checkbook. Some of them don't know how to do that. Um, what it is about taxes being taken out of their paychecks. Um, they're sometimes very surprised when they get their paycheck and there's all these taxes. And taken when you get out. that W four form and you're yes. like what do i mark here <laughs> exactly and then um from that concept then they start going to to different booths where they have to um pick out a house or an apartment and pay the rent or the mortgage on it and then they have to pick out a vehicle and pay their car payment and go and find out about insurance and and renter's insurance and homeowner's insurance and car insurance and then utilities and daycare um, some of them will be given you know pretend children that they have to pay daycare for because th- this is supposed to be set seven years from from now okay so it's they go through a series of booths uh-huh. um, they also have to go to a entertainment booth um, so that they learn that they probably right. need to budget yeah, some entertainment that, in that budget down mostly. and then they go to a chance booth which could be Surprise, you're having another baby, or surprise, your child broke their arm at school, and now you have medical bills. And the goal is to get your through the entire month Mm -hmm. and meet all these expenses and have money left at the end. If they don't have money left, they have to come visit Bonda or I. We are in the SOS booth. Okay. And we go through there and see what they did wrong. Maybe they bought a little bigger house than they should have or bought a car that maybe was a little too expensive for them. And then we send them back and they go back and redo it until they can get through the month um, with some money left. Okay. That's that's the goal. All right. Um, it was your idea, wasn't it, on the candy bars? Yes. So if they make it through all the way, then they get a um, hundred grand. Mm-hmm. And if they have to visit the SOS booth, then they get a zero bar at the end <laughs> <Okay>. of it. <the laughs> That's great. Um, it, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And and we would be remiss if we didn't um, list our sponsors, yes. the businesses that are helping us. Of course, Boyce Electric and High Plains Technology Center. We have Stock Exchange Bank and Great Plains Bank, McKay Ford, Keller Williams Real Estate, Northwest Electric, Boomer Kids Club, Pioneer Telephone, and Kevin Kanzler State Farm. Okay, and now they're all going to be there, mm-hmm. and so they'll be sitting at a area, and the Their students will all come visit each booth. Yes, they have to visit every booth. Every booth. And, and so when I come to Boyce Electric and I've got my money, how how will that go when the students there? What is it? Ours, we don't have a booth. We're just one of the main okay. sponsors that, that helped with the, the paperwork and the funding and okay. getting everything going. Um, the way it starts is um, we're going to, based on their career path at High Plains, we got the median salaries. Okay. And we broke that down into monthly salaries. So they're all going to actually get a paycheck. And have that, so have they done some imp- giving you information before this? Nope. Or you, this just when they come there, totally you'll, random. they'll pick which We're career. going to give them their paycheck best, based on okay. their career path and the median salaries with okay. taxes withheld. 
Um, and then they're they're going to go to the bank and they're going to set them up with a check register. Okay. Explain to them how it works. From there, they have to go to housing. They have to get a house okay. first. Then they go to utilities. Then they and go, transportation. And transportation. So that gets them a house with, you know, electric and gas. <laughs> we also have a grocery booth that uh-huh. they have to go to, and it's going to be based on that one's no the number right of now. children. Um, so by visiting each booth, theoretically, you have gone through an entire month okay. of expenses. Right. And like I said, like we said, the goal is to get to the end of the month with money left. Right. Um, and then randomly, they are assigned um, statuses. Once they get their paychecks for their career path, then they go to another area and they just draw out of a hat that tells them whether they're married and how many children they have okay. or if they're single. Um, and that, again, depicts what their grocery bill is going to look like. Should take that into consideration when picking a vehicle. Yeah. Um, what their utilities are going to run. Okay. Um, so that they're not all going to be the same, even if they're in the same career path. Wow. So we put a lot of work into it. It's been planning it for a year. And, yeah. And we're hoping to grow it eventually where we have um, more than, than just the High Plains students. Maybe uh-huh. we have, you know, all of the juniors and seniors from all the surrounding schools. Or yeah. That's the one day dream to have it expanded. So. Yeah. And we want, we want to start right now. This year we're just doing seniors. Am I correct? Just that's High Plains Technology Center. So seniors in the morning. Now, actually, is, we're doing the sending schools. Too. Well, that's what, but yes. our High Plains. Right, just High Plains. Yeah, those that come to High Plains. Right. So if For you're at Visay and you don't come to High Plains, you don't get to come to right. this. Right. Where, like our senior boot camp, it's all of them from Visay. And then in the afternoon is all of our High Plains Woodward students. Right. And we want to expand it to where we can actually start with sophomores, juniors, uh-huh. maybe even freshmen. Yeah, And we've talked, and Amber and, and all of us have talked in the planning sessions that maybe move it to the high schools uh-huh. and let everybody participate. Yeah. I think that's going to be very eye-opening for some right. of them. Um, I know they're already aware it's going to happen, and I've heard some talk about how they, yeah, they're going to make the big bucks. And yeah, and, th- and this will probably be retire really early. following after our senior boot camp where they yes. had... So we'll see how much they listen to some of the topics that were covered, like the insurance and the to buy or own a vehicle right. and a house and those kind and of I, things. And I hope they paid attention because that's going to make a difference when they visit the different booths. Yeah. And it always seems like a lot when you get that paycheck and you're like, oh, yeah. I made $2,800 this so month. Fast. And yeah. And then when you randomly draw and discover you have a wife and three children <laughs> and daycare is 500 or more a month, it goes fast. Yeah. And groceries right now. Yes. All right. And I think I think that's about it. We're really excited. Yeah. So I think I think awesome. the kids will really enjoy it. And I hope it's an eye opening experience. Yeah. You. And that is a very thankful for the sponsors taking their time we out are. of the day to come. We are. So Okay, well thank you guys. Um a couple things at High Plains this week. Our students are coming back from being at Tulsa at the Skills USA contest so we have diesel students auto students multimedia welding construction and service careers are all um have been at tulsa competing and yasmin reyes at high plains is the president of skills usa so she's gotten to speak on stage in front of there's fifteen thousand members in this um, organization so Um, Be watching social media to see how students have placed and just follow along with pictures. And then next Monday, we have our awards assembly. And um, Adam, what is Adam's last name? Adam Velasquez. Um, I I shared on social media his YouTube video of him singing the national anthem. He's going to sing the national anthem when we kick off the awards ceremony. So that's going to be pretty exciting and then the students will have their uh, fun day the rest of that day and um, TAP has a lot of stuff that's been going on this week and they have their awards assembly tomorrow on Thursday so um, just make sure you're following us online well thank you Andra and Sarah for being my guests today and thank you all for listening Um, we'll be back here next week on 100.1